Hello, I'm Roy Thompson, author of Basic Signaling Principles and Associated Circuitry Presentation. Signaling Diagrams, Sketches and Plans is the second section of the five. In particular, the reading of diagrams is an important requirement in understanding signalling and lighting circuitry, track circuits and points covered in later sections. Signaling diagrams, sketches and plans are contained within the Network Rail Track Signalling Design Handbook and Network Rail Signalling Installation Handbook. There is so much to be contained in these documents. Some content is commonly used and will become familiar, some rarely or even used at all. It's a bit like reading these documents that can be used as dictionaries to assist your learning. There is one area though that is covered in some depth in this section and that is relays and relay contacts. When I was an instructor I remember a survey being carried out that identified that over 50% of trainees had difficulty in understanding relay operation and contacts. And with an apology to those who have a basic understanding, this subject is covered in depth from the very basic. Like all five sections, a video provides a classroom presentation of the subject together with a workbook, which can be viewed as your course notes. The workbook also provides self-assessment questions and answers to check your progress. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe below. Let's look at the content covered in this section. After learning the basic railway symbol, we cover the code used to establish the number or letter's identity, purpose and type of apparatus, using the controlled documentation mentioned earlier. Here is a section of the video explaining how the code is used. Let's see how it works. The first letter or letters or number relates to the lever, signal, points or track circuit concerned. If letters are used, they are normally hyphenated, e.g. AB. The remaining letters, with the exception of the last letter, known as the prefix, designates the general purpose of the unit. The last letter denotes the type of apparatus. OK, let's have a look at our example in more detail using the code. 10 in this case is a number of the signal lever. Looking at the code A means approach, L locking, S stick. So the preceding letter A, L and S give us approach, locking, stick. And the last letter R is relay. 10 approach, locking, stick, relay. The letter R being the last letter within the basic symbol makes the unit a relay. However, there are many styles of relay with different functions and operations. Starting from a basic electricity and magnetism and the electromagnet, we introduce the working of the relay. This includes the armature, operation of the front contact, how this is shown on the diagram, and the same for the back contact. Reading diagrams is covered in some depth, being that they are not interactive and is covered by reading the three relay circuits built up during the video. We look at the dependent and independent contact arrangements. Polarisation is explained and we examine how a polarised relay works. Here is a clip of the video covering this. One method of achieving the proving of three possibilities is to replace the non-polarised relay with a polarised relay. This relay, as its name suggests, is polarity dependent. If we energise the coil of the relay 
the armature will move in one direction. If we energize the coil of the relay with the polarity reversed, the armature will move in the opposite direction. A polarized relay is therefore able to detect three positions. If polarized in one direction, the armature connects with the contact known as normal. If the polarity is reversed, it connects with the reverse contact. Or it is not connecting with either normal or reverse when there is no current flow. This is how a polarized relay contact is shown in signaling diagrams. In this case, the only way current can flow through the contacts is if the relay is energized in its normal position. On this diagram, it can only flow through if the relay is in the reverse position. We also state why and where polarized relays are used. The symbols used for different stages of relays are then covered including double coil or double element relay, slow to drop relay, slow to pick relay. Moving on from relays we look at the various thumb switches, where they are used and how they are shown on diagrams. Then on to lever bands and how they are shown on diagrams. Miscellaneous symbols are shown, such as push button and switches, point contacts, and electrical components. Then it's power supplies, both DC and AC. Moving on to plans and sketches, we show how signal aspects are shown. Automatic and controlled signalling, flashing yellow aspects, junction indicators, standard indicators, position light shunt signals, and subsidiary signals. Then it's panels showing auto button, emergency replacement button, train arrival plunger, train ready to start plunger, right away plunger, ready to start plunger. All of these are explained. There are track circuit symbols, AWS symbols, and miscellaneous symbols. Finally, we show how routes are shown on sketches and plans. We can then test knowledge gained by going to the workbook and carrying out the self-assessment test, and then checking the answers. That is the content covered in section two, signaling diagrams, sketches and plans. An introduction video and video detailing the content of basic one, basic suit railway signaling, can be accessed via the links in the description box below. The other three sections cover basic signaling and lighting circuitry, track circuits and points. Videos covering the content of these sections will be available soon. Five e-books and five videos giving a firm foundation for learning railway signaling engineering for just £15 plus VAT. And then there is a bonus. You will also receive the ebook Assistant Tester Mod 5 for free, which is downloadable when you purchase Basic Signaling Principles and Associated Circuitry. To purchase Basic Signaling Principles and Associated Circuitry presentation, click the link in the description box below. It is payable via Visa, Mastercard or PayPal and access is then immediate. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe below and I hope to be in contact soon with more detail. Access to more information will also become available in Basic Signaling Principles and Associated Circuitry on Facebook and can be accessed via the link in the description box below.